Right, dividing fractions. Now, when you're dividing fractions, success rate here for this is these three keywords keep, change, and then flip, or KCF for short. And then basically, after you've done this process, it changes to a multiply. So, all you do then is multiply the top numbers and the bottom numbers. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So, keep, change, flip is the basic thing that we need to remember this here. KCF. So, what do I mean by KCF? So you've got three processes here. So we've got K, keep, change, and flip. So we're going to keep this the same. So it stays exactly as it's going to change the divide to the opposite to multiply. And then you're going to flip this fraction. So the bottom numbers at the top and the top numbers at the bottom. So just flip them around. So I've got four over 1 and then it becomes a multiply and multiply is very easy all you do is multiply the top numbers and multiply the bottom numbers so we do 2 times 4 which is 8 and then 3 times 1 which is 3 and that's how you divide it so KCF and then just multiply let's try another one so we've got 5 11 divided by 3 eighths. so KCF keep change flip so keep change to multiply and flip so 8 at the top and 3 at the bottom and then work it out so it's 5 times 8 which is 40 then 11 times 3 which is 33 done so one for you to have a go at yourself so have a go at this pause this and I'll go through the answer in about 3 seconds so 3 2 1 so keep change flip KCF and so we keep this the same, three sevens, change that to multiply and then flip these so the fives at the top, twos at the bottom and then we do three times five which is fifteen, so multiply the top and then multiply the bottom, seven times two which equals fourteen and that is it.